you guys, how's it going? This ain't good, look at that. Can't see out the windshield. Almost can't see out the side window. We got a little freezing rain. And uh, that. Oh, I tell you what a day, what a day. That's a decision day. What to pay or what not to pay. <laughs> And a couple of them ain't gonna like what? I mean, I, I, I gotta do something. I just. Ah. Anyway. So, yeah, I gotta get the windshield melted off and got to do a little run in a couple of different directions. So, yeah. Um, did get the welder sold, it's gone made a video for her daughter so but took her out and had her weld with the other one and she understands a welder's a welder finally I mean she was kind of not kind of see her point first welder she welded with is now gone I mean well I guess you gotta teach them that nothing lasts forever I guess huh but anyway um yeah if I do what I wanted to do today, I think, uh, hopefully later today, I can be back in making sawdust. Uh, I just, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's getting tough. Had a story told to me yesterday about another guy. I thought it was just me having trouble. So another guy, something happened there and, uh, all I can say is the customers were real ballsy and went and uh, took the item back without paying for it and still refuses to pay for it, I guess. So, yeah. So, yeah, it just, uh, yeah, not good. And that person that took the item back has got the money. Just don't want to come off it. <laughs> oh, well. So yeah, it's just uh, one of these interesting days, and uh, I'm gonna go pay the light bill out the farm so that stays on, and I think maybe my plans will be to, uh, I got some rafters laying out the farm, I guess I get some more money built up or saved up. I wanna start saving and either A, build another woodworking shop out at the farm, and just get away from having these two locations and then I can turn around and sell the building here in town so I guess either at or just have the building in town and run it as a store build the stuff out at the farm and I don't know too many things going on trying you got I mean I'm trying to do what I can with what I got and my abilities um, all I know is I gotta quit running out of medicines there for a while I was out of my uh, medicine for my neuropathy in my legs and yeah I was starting to get bad constant itching burning then the legs started hurting yeah that wasn't good so <laughs> and pray to God you, you guys watching out there nobody gets the diabetes because it's it is no fun. It's a roller coaster ride. And not a good one, so. Yeah. But I had somebody say, hey, you've lost a lot of weight again. So I haven't been on a scale lately, so I don't know. He said, my face is thinned down, and he says, your neck's even thinned down. And I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm around it all the time, so I don't notice those things. So it's kind of nice to have somebody notice that I've lost weight, so. Well, the ice is finally starting to melt here, so I think uh, we'll give her yeah, not quite good enough yet. So, all right, well, I'm going to get this melted and we'll get it moving. Ouch, that hurt. Well, now I'm playing the waiting game, waiting for the electric company to show up, turn my electricity back on in my wood shop. I mean, noon and two, and it's already 20 to one. <laughs> Once that gets turned on, I gotta go take care of the other bill, then, uh, oh well. So I guess I might be putting up some woodworking videos here for a few, that, get that stuff done, get that money collected, and then 
I don't know if I'll keep the shop going or not. And like I said earlier, uh, get this stuff done, get it off my hair, and then go from there. So, but yeah, I'm just sitting around playing the waiting game. But, uh, and that be kind of nice to get back in the wood shop. I've been missing it. I like doing that. So, uh, it looks like it's trying to spit a little snow. I tell you, north of here is getting worse. As they, and the further north I got to go pay my electric bill, there, the road started getting slick. It wasn't fun. Windshield would freeze half over. I don't care. I had it on defrost, full heat, full bore. And I could not keep this windshield dethawed, which really bites. But, uh, well, I guess I want to sit here and wait and watch, and wait for them to show up. Well, that's done. I got power. I also got an extra surprise. I got to look back through my videos to see when it was. But I can't remember it was a right after Christmas or so uh, my power my furnace quit working at my shop and uh, couldn't figure out why well everybody called a couple of repairmen oh no you can't have that furnace you gotta replace it blah blah they just wanted to sell me a new furnace so nobody would touch it and check it well knowing that the furnace supposedly wasn't working I was low skittish when he turned on the gas main I thought, well, I just want the gas main on so I can get the hot water heater hooked up. Well, he says, uh, well, we'll see if it starts. And I'm like, it's not going to start. It's broke, but okay. Well, guess what? I've got a furnace. And I went down in the basement, double-checked things. That furnace is working and running which I couldn't understand why I had the AC side of the furnace, but I couldn't get the heat side to work. But where I'm going with this, at that time, I had somebody approach me about buying my building. Well, after the first initial contact, shortly, my furnace quit working. So when they finally made their offer, they lowballed the offer and said, well, your furnace is out. And, that and somebody else that we knew mutually was supposed to come and look and see what it was supposed to take to get the furnace going well he never showed up well the deal fell through I mean they load ball me and I'm like no I'll just keep it well here now the mid-american guy all he did was turn my gas meter on and my furnace is working working good I'm um, like what so I'm starting to think and I never even thought to look last year and the repairman that came they wouldn't even touch the furnace and check to see if I had gas pressure or not um, I'm starting to think somebody shut my meter off in the meantime I ended up going out buying some electric heaters trying to keep it warm in there so I could keep going and ran the electric bill up that's part of the reason that it cost me so much today to get it turned on so I guess next time a furnace quits I'm gonna go out and look at that gas meter see if somebody shut it off um, really baffled me because oh another guy that worked on furnace that I knew, knew he's like well it's got a green light it says everything's okay to go but it wouldn't well no gas pressure it sure ain't going to run. So yeah, I can see it now. If I would have sold them the building, uh, all they would have had to do is go turn the gas meter back on them. Would have got the building cheaper, and I, I would have known the difference. So, which makes me feel better. Because now I don't have to worry about how I'm going to heat the building. So... I got the heat going and here in a little bit, we'll be back up there to work on, uh, start making sawdust again and it'll all be warm again. So.
so yeah I just <laughs> guess I gotta start checking things you know but the gas meter you would think I mean my electricity hadn't been shut off or threatened to be shut off so you would have never thought about the gas meter being turned off but he turned around and it's working now unless it quits again then I'll say hey is there a problem with the gas meter which that could be but I stood there and watched him turn the valve and then when I fired up the furnace it fired up <laughs> uh, all right well I'm gonna go pay the car insurance so go back hey guys guess what <laughs> Some of you guys ain't seen this building yet, unless you went through the old videos, but uh, we're back to making sawdust. It smells so good in here. And I know a few of you are probably going, that desk is still here. Yes, that desk is still here. But uh, it's starting to take shape. Well, it started taking shape a long time ago, but... So I'm on a mad dash to get this stuff done make back my money that I spent today and keep this going because if I can't in 2014 if I can't get this to go next year I'm calling it quits so in December so yeah and like I said my furnace is working it's been working all day it's even cycled on and off a couple of times I just was cold in here where the thermostat is it gets warm so yeah so I got fans trying to move the air around and get it going where it's supposed to so yeah but back to hearing the saws run and making sawdust and the smell in here oh I just love that smell and if you guys notice I do this flip flopping with my glasses and I look through the box I got bifocals of all things that's why I keep tipping my head because I look like that is good. When I look like this, it seems to be fuzzy and I ain't got long enough arms. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just looked outside. It's starting to snow a little too. I think today is December 4th. I don't know. It might be. I, yeah, yeah, it is December 4th because yesterday we had the wife at the doctor's and still haven't heard nothing. So, But yeah, I guess I'm going to try and work here and well, like I said, I got three major projects to get done. They're going to get done and out. And then I'll be back to building my own stuff or taking on new jobs. And I just So if I don't make the woodwork and go, I'm going to try and figure out something else to do with this building. It's what, 26 by 150, two story. So, yeah, it's a big building. But, well, I was going to start a show. I'm back to woodworking. So, I guess we'll bounce between some woodworking videos and mechanic and welding and that. So, it's going to be a variety of things. Uh, I guess I, uh, the, uh, that one saying goes, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. I, I pretty much can do a lot. There's some things I can't do anymore, but there's... So, but anyway, 